this is the muscle activation thought process, muscle tightness is only a symptom of opposite action muscle weakness. Let me say that again. Tightness in my hip flexors is the symptom because my hip extensors cannot contract and put me in that position. Does that make sense to you? So here's what's interesting. If you, who here has walked out on a wet floor or ice or a pool deck without knowing it was slippery until you stepped on it? Who's had that happen? What does your body immediately do when you sense that it's slick? What does it do? Tighten up or loosen up? Tighten. tighten up. Did you stop and think, ooh, this is slippery. I better tighten up. Hmm. Or you just, oh, wow. It's a reaction, isn't it? It's instantaneous nervous system reaction to instability. So what I need you to see is this. Now that you're tight, did you stop and stretch? After you stepped on that wet surface, did you now stretch out because you're tight, so you walk on the slippery surface? Did you do that? You didn't, did you? You kept walking because you knew the tightness was protecting you from falling on your fanny. The nervous system reaction was immediate. It's called compensation. To figure out a better way to do it to remain stable. So here's where the muscle activation kind of thought process is. We see this tightness as the symptom of the inability of a muscle to create a contraction. So the body says, you know what, I know you're not stable back here, so guess what, I'm going to tighten these guys up so you don't go there. So think about this. What if I say, you know what, let's stretch that sucker out because it's tight and I can't bring my leg back so I'm going to make it go back and you stretch that tissue. You're forcing the muscle to go where the nervous system does not want it to go. Because that tightness is a muscle contraction. And it's producing force. And we're saying that we're smarter and we're going to override it and stretch it to where it won't go on its own. Because of the inability for the opposite action muscle to contract on demand. We're going to talk about static, I'm going to call it passive static stretching. Here's the difference. Passive means I move my joint to a position and then I take it farther by an external force that shoves it there and I hold it. Kind of like taking my shirt, stretching the fiber, pass where it would go on its own for a certain window of time. So before I do this, Joshua. I'm not going to have him do the stretch till I verify that his muscles right now, his quads are firing on demand. So hold your leg there, don't let me push down, okay? Ready, resist. Awesome, nice and solid. Same thing, hold there. Good, do you feel solid on both of those? Yes, yeah. I mean, you're not moving, right? When I push, you can hold it pretty easily? Yeah. Okay, I want you to stand up and do a quadricep stretch. So think about this, how many of you have done this before where you grab and hold? Yeah, we all have. Okay, so Josh, lay back down on the table. So, did you notice that when he grabbed his ankle, he pulled his knee into flexion farther than he would probably move on his own? Josh, do you run and ever kick yourself in the butt? Yeah, I don't find many runners who do. But let's see what happens now. Lock your knee straight. I'm pushing down. Okay, hold it there. Hold it there. Come on. Okay, try. You ready? Okay, try. So let's try the other one. Hold there. So let me explain what just happened. This is nervous system sensitivity to his trauma to the muscle by stretching it farther than it would go on its own. Who here has sprained your ankle? What does your next step feel like? Oh, this is no big deal and you keep running? Or you kind of have a little bit of instability and maybe a little pain? Anybody have that? Yeah. So guess what? Whether you do it purposely straining a joint or you do it accidentally straining a joint, 
the connective tissue gets the same result, and that is passive strain, loss of muscle contractibility, body starts protecting, other muscles tighten to compensate for this weakness.